Hey all this is Val here with another Dungeon Hunters Champion video. In today's video, it is Rona version 2.0. So as you guys know, I've been really trying to get my uh, PvP game in order for Guild Wars and for Arena to do better for my guild. I have been doing extremely good, by the way, just so you know. Um, and I don't mean that as a taunt, I mean that or as a, uh, a uh, pat on my back. I just mean that as I've actually dedicated some time to improving it. And part of that, talking to you guys, was I needed to six-star my Rona. That is done. I have her on Dazzling. We're not going to go through her skills because I've already covered that. We're just going to talk about the upgrades that I made to her. So let's hop right into gear. As you can see, I went uh, Warding and then I went Dazzling. I went Attack, Crit Rate, Attack. I went Crit Rate because I did want her to crit. Um, her crit was really really low without these you can see it uh, from the stats here I'm at 40% so she was only at a 60% crit rate and I was like uh, that's really not that great so I went ahead and I did crit rate uh, gloves I know a lot of people disagree with that but that's okay 60% uh, crit rate and putting crit damage gloves or really isn't gonna make any difference at all because you're only gonna crit a little over half the time and the rest of the time you're gonna be doing really not that great so that's just how I roll um, if she had about 80% crit rate I would have still went with uh, crit damage gloves in that case I feel that anything over 75% is viable anything under that's just not worth it if you're going uh, for a crit damage build so that's why we have crit rate and then obviously I went attack um, I did go uh, uh, accuracy in substats, um, but here's the here's the gear. You can see that, and then back to the stats. So we got 63% accuracy, what some people consider the minimum over 60%. Um, because I didn't want to sacrifice a bracer to accuracy, I wanted to get attacks. I wanted her to do damage. Uh, that's why the accuracy is so low. If you do want 100% accuracy, easy solution. You swap out the bracer and put in an accuracy bracer, and then you're good to go. Um, we've got 1600 attack we've got uh, 25k HP this is not very good for arena you do want I would say roughly about 30 to 35k at minimum uh, and the more the better even for your DPS units you do want that and really I consider it DPS but I did get quite a bit of resistance so I'm hoping that she doesn't get uh, stripped and that kind of thing so remember I am using her in uh, arena um, and I do use her in SW because she's a better stripper than Kiva because she just she's just as reliable as Kiva. Kiva is not unreliable. It's just she also does damage. And you can't beat that. Kiva does no damage. Kiva just lives. That's the thing. She lives and she strips amazingly well. But unfortunately in SW, um, the damage is just a, a bigger bonus than uh, only being able to strip. So all that stuff aside, let's hop into some matches. All right, so this is kind of like my standard team here, right? I go with the immunity, uh, stun and strip, uh, uh, Zevra or Zevron, uh, Valoron, and then a DPS unit. In this case, we're gonna 100% rely on DPS, 120% rely on DPS. We're not gonna go with the accuracy lead. We are gonna go with the HP lead. Uh, I'm not sure how this is gonna do. This may be asking too much of her. But I wanted to fight this team because if he strips, we have someone to strip back. We also have um, uh, Zinnia to back up her strips, which I don't think we're going to need to strip with Zinnia. Um, and we should be okay. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Maybe I'm asking too much of her. Maybe I should bring in another DPS like my Washi and then just have her here for stripping and Washi here for DPS and just forego immunity because I'm always trying to work without immunity as a lot of you guys have told me you run without it it is perfectly doable plus with uh, Washi in there I have a 33% attack lead we'll see how it goes we'll see how it goes well, let's kill the vamp I think the vamp is going to be the bigger issue here alright she's going to need a heal let's get that out there alright so far so good She's doing really well. I guess uh, she heard me say, I don't know how good she's going to do. And she wants to just immediately prove me wrong. Let's get some strips in there. Let's get some cooldown reduction. And wow. I am really impressed. Wow. That was really, really good. That was really... Okay, let, let's, let's, let's do this again. Let's kill the vamp. Holy smokes. 
And people were what? Why did I wait so long to build this shit? Let's get some cooldown reduction. I want her to do the, the cool thing she does. I got a strip because they did uh, manage to get up the defense buff. All right, let's keep going. Uh, let's get some more cooldown reduction. Let's see her do the thing she does very well. We're really working that. Uh, we didn't even have anyone focus. That that was good deeps without anyone focus. Good job. Wow. I am extremely impressed. Okay. Well. Well. <laughs> All right. I, I can hear Donald Dump. I can hear Smitty. I can hear their comments in the YouTube video. Like, I, yes, I know. I should have built her in six. Oh, I did have her built. She just wasn't six starred, right? And she didn't have Dazzling. So I can hear the comments. I should have built her sooner. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Should have built her sooner. Got it. Okay. Oh, another good team. Okay. So we've got Zevron's going to buff and vulnerability. Um, other than that, I mean, there's not much to be afraid of here because she's definitely going to strip it. Abigail's my girl. We all know I love Abigail, but she's just, she can work in arena because her shred is 25% ignore defense. So you're not really working. Like if you build her slightly dps-y um and make sure you have enough accuracy for shred to land but you also bring another dps to take advantage of shred because i don't think she can do it on her own even if you built her like really dps-y like i mean extremely dps-y i don't think shred gets the job done just her because her her most of her damage is going to come from using shred so by the time she's ready to use it again it's already dropped off so she won't be able to take advantage of it Maybe since it's AoE, if you put her on Dazzling. Oh, uh, okay, this is a Rona video. See, I just like Abigail. I want to I wanna make sure she's viable everywhere, even when it's not on my team. Okay, so we're going to kill her first. We're going to kill Abby first. I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. All right, here we go. Get some stuns in there. All right. Oh, my Rona is taking some damage, but that's all right. Uh, we got Valoran came in there, helped out. All right, let's get some stuns. Let's get, we need stuns. Uh, right here that's no stop 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 i don't mean to walk there we go yeah i was there's misclicks on there for days now let's get rid of uh zevron and now let's get rid of diva we don't really worry about diva when we have immunity she's not a priority because the stun isn't gonna last and that's really her biggest threat i'm not worried about her heals we're gonna out damage her heals with this particular team no problem uh, let's leave her up and let's just kill Zevron right off the bat. Let's leave her up. Let's let's leave my girl up. Let's give her some chance to let's give her a chance to do something. Oh baby, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sweetheart. We're gonna leave her up. We're just gonna leave her up. Come on, do something. Show these people what you got, girl. Show them what you got. Please do something. Ah. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. I tried to give her a mini, a mini spotlight. <laughs> oh, no, baby. I'm sorry. All right. All right. We, we, we've seen what she has to offer. We know it's pretty good. Let's take a look at her numbers. Uh, pretty impressive. Um, a lot. Look, I mean, she just does so much. She, she, the, uh, stun is good. That's because she's on dazzling. Um, the, the OGD, eh, I mean, in PvP is questionable, right? Um, but, I mean, I'm sure it's still doing some work. This is the money maker, though, right here. Right here, Mortal Wounds is huge in PvP. Like, just so huge. Rona is just so good. She, she brings all of this. Now, obviously, she doesn't bring this naturally. But as you can see, we had some stunning going on. Everyone here is averaging about the same stun time, which is good. That means it probably wasn't overlapping. Because I don't believe they can apply their stun if one's already up. I might be wrong about that. So, but I mean, it's really, look at the silence, plus the stuns, plus the mortal wounds. I mean, this this team is really good, actually. I like this a lot. I like it a lot. So, let, let's get out of here. We've seen it. I mean, it's going to be more of the same, right? We know it's going to be more of the same. It looks good, especially for all those people who are already using Rona. So, my overall thoughts. Do I regret taking her off of a DPS build, putting her dazzling, and using her only in SW and Arena and Guild Wars? Absolutely freaking not. Look, look, guys. Legit. This is Val, your buddy, talking to you. Put her on dazzling. Put her on your Arena. Put her in your Guild Wars. You're not going to be disappointed. 
she'll still be viable in SW, no problem, because she's going to strip like nobody's business, and she's going to drop uh, some bombs on the boss, no problem, just do it, she's 100% worth it, I regret waiting so long to six star her and to use her, just do it, just, just, just take the advice from Nike and Val, just do it. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. If you know of a different build that's perfectly viable in both PvP and in PvE, go ahead and drop it down in the comments below. As always, thank you all for watching. And all you dudes and dudettes out there, stay frosty.